disclosure to people quite here. Nope. Think about maybe my output's velocity. That's velocity squared to y. So it's really the idea is 10 times the law of power out from the power of you. Power usually goes to square. So we'll pull that out. Alright, so that's the Phase angle is in degrees. I have sine omega gt plus so the phase angle. What are the units here for feet? Radians. I have clock degrees. So if I put it in differential equation, what am I solution? Better be radians, not degrees. Why do I clock degrees? It's easier. People understand degrees. That's why. You know what 45 degrees is, you know what 90 degrees is, you know what 180 degrees is. What you know what one radian is. What angle is one radian? Less than 60? Yeah, 57.3. But yeah, you don't really picture that very well. But you picture the degrees from the best one. Fine. So uh, look at this couple of key things. Uh, at omega equals 1 over the time constant of the system work, uh, omega tau being 1, the phase angle is 45 degrees. Maximum phase angle would be 90, starting out with 0. This is actually a pretty easy thing to measure. Phase angle. The magnitude is 3 beat B below. Uh, you know, 0 dB or B is 1. Okay. What's 3 dB? Well, go backwards in this. 3 dB equals 20 times log B minus 3 dB. What's the gain? Can you get the calculator here? Of it. And now our scale for 
frequency is going to be omega over omega m. So when omega is equal to the natural frequency, um, uh, we can uh, kind of normalize all of our results. And of course, it depends on the damping ratio. Right? Uh, the phase goes from 0 to 180 degrees now. No matter what damping ratio I have, it's minus 90 degrees at the natural frequency. Amplitude, you've seen this plot a zillion times probably. Again, depends on the uh, damping ratio. Where does that peak occur for the magnitude? It's not the natural frequency. What frequency do we call it? respect to omega, set it to zero. That's the maximum or minimum. When you solve that, you find that the maximum occurs at what we call the resident frequency. Okay. Uh, <coughs> here's a summary of all of these uh, things. So a second order system, resident frequency you have there, which is valid between Pretty much out between 0 and 0.707. Uh, damping, what happens in damping ratio 0.707? Uh, it's not the above 0 dB. 1 from 0.707 does not. So 0.707 is the smallest damping I could have where I don't get a resonance. And it's still under damp, but I don't get a resonance. Okay. Magnitude resonance, ah, function only of damping ratio. Show that. Take your omega R, put it back in the equation, get that. Uh, can put it in terms of BBs and uh, phase at the resonance is uh, function only of the damping ratio. Uh, uh, let's remember a little bit about the same phase versions. Uh, for those I had the 5200, 6200. Remember, the phase margin is the phase angle above 180 degree line. Right? Gain margin is the magnitude below zero degree when the phase of an increase. Right? Well, I haven't had that, don't worry about it. We're not going to use it too much in this class. <coughs> but here's the MATLAB plot showing this uh, uh, gain margin, phase margin. <coughs> Top one is the gain. So it's coming down, and I look at when does the phase hit. Turning the fees here, look what the magnitude is and how much does the magnitude below uh, zero dB? That's the gain margin. The phase margin, if I look at when it crosses zero dB, come down here and see what this magnitude of the uh, phase is above 180 degrees. For those that had the 5200, 6200 class, is this stable or unstable system? Be old. Stable. Stable. Why? Because they have a positive gain and positive phase margin. Right. <coughs> it becomes marginally stable when these two points go to the same place. You have zero gain and zero phase margin. Think of the name margin. Gain margin means what you think of it as 
how much gain I can change and increase before I uh, get this building. Uh, uh, fan version is really not something I have so much desire for. Well, you can't believe the complicated, but phase margin relates to the ratio for second approximation. So the phase margin is really part tangent of this uh, rather nasty equation for the, the damping ratio. But it simplifies for most systems to approximately the phase margin over 100. <coughs> Few other definitions of frequency of the gain phase margin should not cause crossover frequencies. And they apply only to the open transfer function, not to close it. We don't use that too much in the state space. Uh, so, uh, yeah, here's some things for uh, here. So, simple secondary transfer function, magnitude I can find in terms of uh, metric to damping ratio, or peak. In terms of only damping ratio, uh, so I can plot the log frequency that. Uh, the bandwidth, someone brought up the idea of bandwidth, that's the 3 dB point. So that's the frequency from one 3 dB, dB point to the higher 3 dB point. So I think the final exam uh, the last semester was good. Resident frequency, we have bandwidth. Described here is basically magnitude of growth of 2, 3 dB. Okay. Uh, the bandwidth can relate to the uh, natural frequency and damping ratio. The natural frequency can relate to the settling time. And this, that's 4 over the settling time, remember, is 4 over mega n zeta. So I can write settling time in terms of bandwidth. Uh, time to peak is equal to pi over omega n times square root of zeta squared, or bandwidth in terms of time to peak. And you can actually plot all these things out. So this is uh, omega bandwidth of times settling time, times peak time, times resident frequency, and so forth. Uh, complete summary of these. Southern time, 4 over the real part. That's southern time to what percentage? 2%. Time to peak, pi over the imaginary part of the root. Rise time, about 1.8 over the natural frequency. Overshoot, this would be a really low, the inverse of it, typically. Phase, uh, damping ratio is approximately phase margin of 100, and bandwidth has all these relationships with the natural frequency. All right, the summary. All right. So, that's designing. This is all new for now and now. All right, how's it go through these things? There are a zillion examples coming up now. Okay. I posted all these things on this so you can review. Hopefully, some of these had the basic controls of seeing some of this stuff before. For those who haven't, well, those who have an example, sure I haven't used it. I've seen it before, but I've also yeah, so forgotten it all. <laughs> Are you going to go home or are you going to be on campus? Tonight?